Hi, Auntie Society. Welcome back to the Auntie Social Planet. Today, we are checking out episode 19 of Spy Family. And in the last episode, we had some really fun moments with Uncle Yuri trying to coach Anya and help her study as she was going into this exam of hers. Then we also had Lloyd trying to like sneak in and change her grades, but was foiled a little bit by this daybreak spy that is his ultimate nemesis because they're complete opposites of each other in a lot of of ways. One of them is an actual spy and the other one has read a couple of comics and has decided he knows what a spy is. So that was a lot of fun and I really liked how Lloyd decided to not change Anya's grades. He was like, this is something that you earned and you tried, so here you go. Like, it's not the best outcome, but this is what you earned and you did legitimately try, so good job. I just feel like that's like such a parenting moment of putting that above the mission in that moment and deciding like, well, we'll come up with a plan and whatever letter we're at now. I feel like we're pretty well through the alphabet of Lloyd needing to change his plans around because his family is chaotic. But it looks like in this episode we're going to be introduced to a new student at the school, so we'll see how Anya manages with that. She's not the best at first impressions, but you know what? Her heart is in the right place and I just, I want more people to appreciate her. So let's get into this episode to uh, see the hijinks that I'm sure will come and I'm just always so excited for these episodes. In three two, one, go. This song brings me so much joy. I feel like I could just hear the soundtrack of this show and it would brighten my day. Like I should put that on in the mornings when I'm like trying to get in a good headspace, especially since it's been raining so much over the last few days. I need a little bit of this like warmth and joy that comes from the soundtrack. Also, the autumn vibes of this opener, which I know makes sense because it came out when that would have been applicable. I'm just late to the party, but it brings me so much joy as someone who loves autumn. Oh, I should go to like, it's like almost fairs and theme park season because it's getting warm. I should go to one. <laughs> I just feel like I should do fun things. I don't do that anymore. Because I was like a teenager and then I was a university student and then everything was closed. But now I can go and I can do fun things. I should. Except there are people there. <laughs> it's fun through like a anime when I'm like, look at how pretty the world is and how much fun this is. But then if I have to be there. My social anxiety kicks in. <laughs> Just like it's sometime last month. Ooh, man. Apparently you won't have to tell him. Revenge plot against Desmond family though. <laughs> uh, I love the my sweet Lloyd. foreshadowing that we're saying high expectations to parents and then we have David in the back I'm just saying that was extra and I appreciate it oh her little sneeze Because <laughs> she's like, I would like to be invited to his house. For no reason whatsoever. That looming shadow, though. 
Uh oh. He just, he has something in his hand which makes me. Okay. <laughs> this little thank you is so cute too. Okay, we keep like pointing out that he has the dustpan and it just makes me nervous. Ah, that's where the the spy came from. Oh. <laughs> but world peace Oof. Elaborate. Is Anya gonna help? Maybe? Try to help? I don't know if it'll actually help. <laughs> I think everyone's like nervous because she's like a delinquent. <laughs> oh. I was like, I feel like this might have like been like a olive branch between them, but then we've we've messed it up with the whole like you know, girls have cooties kind of <laughs> mentality. Well, I mean, Damon didn't do that. I don't know about that. I think your dad's a little bit more evil than you might think. I don't know about a good family either. I feel like we got some misconceptions about the Desmonds. <laughs> I love Anya. <laughs> He's very intense, isn't he? He's a lot of emotions. Oh. 
Aww. It's sweet that he wanted to buy him some juice, though. Oh, it's just like very childish of like, I'll buy you a juice box to make amends, make you feel better. Honestly, that'd make me feel better and have like a mental breakdown. If someone's like, here's a juice box, I'd be like, thank you. <laughs> I love how sentimental this is. <laughs> He's so dramatic. Go, everyone's giving him some side eye. <laughs> Look how his tone of voice changes when he gets super sentimental. They're gonna take pity on him. That is very extreme to jump to. Oh, the single tear. I mean, they're all trying. Please don't use this as, like, a weapon to be like, if I'm sad enough, people will be nice to me. Can we talk about how Damon's trying so hard, though, to make this kid feel better? Like, I feel like it shows how sweet he... he could be. I also like that the song doesn't have any words. <laughs> I bet he doesn't leave. Like, it'd be a wonderful send-off. And I bet he just, like, comes back the next day and they're like, oh, you're here again. <laughs> Anya's trying to. Yeah, there's no way he's actually leaving. I love how dramatic this is. It's like the most over the top. Just waiting for the moment. Reality snaps back into place. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, so that happened. That's my day. See? He'll be fine.
Yep. <laughs> He's gonna have to go back to school. Awkward. Yeah. Oh. The embarrassment of, like, he made such a big deal out of the fact that he was leaving, and now he's just back. Oh. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, her little nightcap. <laughs> Don't fall back asleep. There's no escaping. <laughs> oh no I feel like maybe he has the wrong like he has this like briefcase and it looks like maybe something went wrong or she forgot hers Anya because we had a close up of it on the chair before Oh, her little apology before going into her room. We love your. <laughs> the immediate catastrophizing. Are they like her gym clothes or something? <laughs> I hope Pond is there, like, chill. <laughs> I feel like, I was like, I feel like Anya's gonna forget something. And it's gonna become a whole thing. It's okay. Super mom to the rescue. Oh, deep breath. Nice! See, you got this. You are a capable, independent woman. You got this. Super mom. Waiting for the bus? Nah. She's just gonna parkour her way there. <laughs> Ugh, the camera work in the show, though. Like, they don't need to flex that much on this show, but I love that they do. I bet it's not that big of a deal, but she, like, doesn't even have gym class. Just inconspicuous. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I like the specification of, like, she's looking for Anya. Like, do not be alarmed. Yes, that'll be what happens. Are we going to be disguised as an animal? <gasps> no, no. <laughs> Oh, Lloyd's just here, too. Uh. Oh. She can probably hear her thoughts. <laughs> like, she knows she's there. Oh. <laughs> I do appreciate that Yoda also has the mindset of like something mildly inconvenient happens catastrophized to the extreme. Yes, give encouraging words and make her feel better. No one says sweet things quite like Lloyd. Yeah, go to lunch. Ugh, they're so cute. <laughs> uh, I feel so bad for, like, how much Yon doubts herself and how she always thinks that she's not doing enough, even though she's trying so hard. <laughs> you know? It's like with Anya. Like, Anya tries so hard and it doesn't always work out, but she's trying everything she possibly can. And I feel like that's Yod too. Like, she feels like she's constantly a failure, but she's trying everything she has. And, like, I don't think it's a failure of her as a mom that she was, like, over, uh, like, caring <laughs> for her child, right? Like, yeah, she could have just been like, oh, no, she forgot her gym clothes. I'll make sure, like, double check next time she's packing up her stuff so that she doesn't have it. Like, that would probably be me. She was like, no, I have to immediately get this to her just in case it becomes a thing that might affect her education, right? <laughs> she's like, oh no, like, I have to, I have to do this. And even though it was, like, overblown and, like, she didn't actually need her gym clothes, I feel like it's so much better that Yoda's the kind of mom who's like, I will do absolutely anything to make sure that my family is okay. Even if it means, like, making some mistakes. I just love seeing this family together. <laughs> like, my face hurts from just, like, smiling and melting. Ooh. 
Ooh. Who's the girl with the bob? She's been in the opener. Of course, I love getting to see the Forger family together and just like their chaos, but like their genuineness of just trying to help each other out and be there for each other. But I also feel like we've seen some really good little like breadcrumbs of Damien and like him going through his character because we had the interaction where he was trying to tell his dad that he had like won this competition at school and like, wanted to share that story. He was so excited and then his dad wasn't there and didn't have time for him. And he's like, I'm not going to come home for break then. You know, and then in this one, we have him trying so hard to make this kid feel better about him leaving and being upset and that kind of a thing and, and doing everything he can to help with that. And I think that shows that there's so much more to Damon and how he can have a lot more empathy and has a lot more going on with him than might seem externally. Like he kind of has like the persona that he has that is protective and makes him feel like he's living up to his family name and like what is expected of him and that kind of thing. And then you have who he actually is underneath, which is like just a kid who wants people to love him and care about that he's there and be excited about his accomplishments and stuff like that. So I think that there's lots of great breadcrumbs for what is going to happen with his story and how he's going to develop as a character because I feel like he's come so far from like the initial meeting of him. And then of course, you're trying so hard. I really want to get another story of her like in assassin mode and like what her developing as a person is like because I feel like she's had like little moments in these stories and like little parts like this where she had like part of an episode where she was kind of doing this like fun little adventure and stuff like that but we haven't seen her get her own focused story that's like about her as opposed to like your the mother, Yod as like the sister, her own life that she's like trying to put together. We had kind of like fun stories of it, like learning to cook and that kind of a thing. But I wonder if we'll, we'll get back to that. I feel like th it's been a lot of like more slice of life kind of fun stuff recently with like, of course, some little sequences of action like in this episode. But I'm just waiting for it to like circle back to some of the action stuff because I feel like it was so well balanced in the first part of the series that I'm just like missing it a little bit. Not that I don't love the slice of life. Of course I do because their family is so cute together. It just brightens my day so much but i hope you enjoyed watching that along with me you can click this playlist to go and see my previous reactions or you can subscribe so you miss next time i post a spy family reaction and i will see you in the next video bye